Gemini, welcome to Illuminated Tarot. My name is Jenna. Today I'm here to do your reading for the week of December 11th through the 17th. I'm going to take a look at the overall general energy for you for the week, what you may not be coming up, and get some important advice from Spirit. All right. It's for all Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus placements. Please only take what resonates, okay? We're going to jump right in before we throw the tarot spread down with just a few oracle messages for you. We get an overview of the energy for the week. All right, this comes by way of the spirit daughter on Instagram. Check her out if you don't know who I'm talking about. Manifestation cards. Know your worth, Gemini. I am worthy. I am good enough. I am ready. Yes, you are. All right. New expression. I express myself with magic and confidence. All right. You're going to be expressing yourself in a new way because you're going to realize your worth in a situation. Ooh, you're going to be making a choice. Important choice I'm hearing this week. Every choice for my intuition is the right one, okay? And this is the new expression. I don't think I showed you that. All right. So those are the three base energies you're going to be working with this week. Ooh, you were worthy, honey. And it's time to express yourself with your magic and confidence, all right? You're going to really be opening up. Let's see what's happening. All right. Making a choice. All right. Well, I'm glad you came here for some clarity because you're definitely going to be making an important choice this week. It's like you're going to have to express your feelings, I think, right? And it has to do with your worthiness. All right, let's get into this. Spirit, I'm going to throw all the cards down for the spread. We're going to talk about that briefly, and then we're going to clarify, okay? Show me, Spirit. What's going on for Gemini's? All right, there we go. Okay. Ooh, I had a feeling coming into this. Yeah, you're at the end of a cycle. You're being challenged to end a cycle with someone because you have a brand new beginning, but you got some competing parts. You got some competing parts. Spirit is saying you need to take charge. See this from an analytical perspective. What you don't see coming is you're going to get your justice, vindication, fairness. Things are going to be fair, but something is changing in your life. I can see that very much. Justice is what you don't see coming. Yes, okay, so you're going through something that hurts, all right? I'm not going to lie. Your overall energy, something's going to feel owie this week. Your opportunity, right, is to keep going despite the heavy load that you've been carrying, okay? The Ten of Wands is also about releasing blame, burdens, baggage. Sometimes can be working too much, right? And the world is definitely the end of a cosmic journey, okay? So the challenge is, are you going to end this cycle, wrap it up, right? And open up into a new beginning. It's like, you're kind of like, oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You got to make a choice. All right. Let's clarify the energies. We'll wait on the, the deep, deeper message with the advice from spirit, but you are, this is going to have a peaceful, I'm getting a peaceful, fair resolution, justice, Libra energy. All right. The world is Capricorn energy. You could be dealing with one of those signs or a Aries or yet yeah, double Aries. So you could be dealing with an Aries. Why are you feeling hurt this week? Moving through, maybe severing ties with something that doesn't serve you anymore, Gemini. Let's see. Ooh, incoming communication. Ooh, there's block communication. There is block communication here in a situation. Ace of Wands is starting something new. So it's like, you're like, no, I need to wait a minute. There's a block on something going on here. Uh, two of swords is, you're having to make a difficult decision. Maybe you stopped talking to someone or you are this week and you're trying to make a difficult decision about whether you want to invest in this anymore. I am getting that vibe. What is the 10 of wands? Justice, the seven of cups and the seven of, 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 uh, pentacles. Gemini, you are reassessing and reevaluating, uh, connection. It's like you want to bring it to balance so bad. I'm hearing that. It's gotten harder. You're like, Jenna, it's gotten so hard. I can't keep it together anymore. It's time for me to release this burden. This justice card, it's almost like you want, like, you. I know you want to feel some sort of vet level of victory here. It's really a matter of, is it worth the fight? Because I see in your immediate future that you are going to step into a brand new beginning, invest in something, something, there's going to be an offer made here. And, but you... There might be other competition. This could have to do with a work situation, but I'm getting an overall vibe of like, some of you it is work and there's competition and you're having to make a difficult decision maybe between taking a promotion, not taking a promotion, leaving a job for another job. 
but it, you are in a period of this week really reassessing a situation, right? This can sometimes even be a card of reconciliation. So for those of you curious about love, you're trying to make a decision maybe between different people. And, and the longer you wait, the harder it's getting. Spirit is saying you got to decide. you got to decide. Whichever way is the right way, right? Know your worth. Express yourself. you got to make this choice. you got to use your intuition. you got to be strong because this, this cycle wants to end. It's been an unstable cycle, but you are in a period with this new beginning. The challenge is, can you let the new come in? You've got wish fulfillment, fate, all your wishes coming true. If you're strong enough to keep going, there's something though with the two of pentacles. It's, it's like when you're juggling something, it's you've been juggling a lot in this previous cycle. Spirit is saying you need to drop whatever heavy burden you're carrying. That could be you working too much. And the baggage of that and just like, you know what, is it worth me staying in this job because it's just sucking my soul, right? So it could be a matter of really needing to pause, consider how much this is affecting you from day to day and bring yourself into balance, right? Justice is also bringing balance into a situation, right or wrong, right? So this is speaking to multiple people with multiple situations, but overall I see you really communicating your hurt, expressing your hurt to someone like this hurts or expressing to someone, I can't do this anymore, right? Whether it's the love situation or this job, I want to get an idea before we, let's do what you don't see coming because we have the justice card twice here in your opportunity and in what you don't see coming. Some sort of vindication. It is, I knew it. For most of you, this is a love bond and it could be somebody that you were like trying to move away from. You know it's unhealthy for you. You want fairness and you're not getting it. And spirit, that's why when I first saw that know your worth, it was like, mm, know your worth, Gemini, know your worth. You got to make a choice here, right? You got to express your needs, your feelings, your wants, your desires. They're valid. They matter. All right. All right. Why is the five of wands here? You're in deep conflict. Yeah. There's not, there's, there's a need for balance in this connection. There's something that's off. It's like it makes you feel alone to be with this person. Even though it's like you're so invested in somebody, but it's like not yielding what you want. You feel left out in the cold. It's a five of pentacles. It's like, why am I not getting what I want out of this? You know, it's like each time I try, it's just like not. You're trying to bounce back, I think, this week. You know, we have two fives on the table. It's really a matter of can you overcome this recent conflict, right? This is healing from a conflict, regaining your stability, regaining your footing again. All right, you've got, whoops, ah, the fool. Wow, that popped out twice. I was just trying to clarify the fool with the high priestess and the king of cups. You got to practice self-love, honey, like you've never practiced before because you were dealing with something toxic in a love situation, something unhealthy that needs to be removed for things to come back into balance. Whether that's, whatever it is, is different for everybody, but can you recognize the signs here, okay? The signs are very apparent and real. You do have a deep emotional investment and your intuition is telling you, let your heart lead you, okay? But you gotta, the biggest thing, the key pointing, spirit's like, okay, okay. Know your worth, Gemini. Know your worth, all right? What is this offer being made? It could be somebody coming back around, especially if we pull the Six of, of Cups here. Page of Pentacles, the Fort, yeah. You know what, you, change is happening, but it's happening slowly. You have got to do some healing. Okay, you've got to heal from whatever has been going on in this connection. Okay, we have the four of, of swords over the ace of pentacles. Your opportunity here, especially too, it's like you're, and you're reevaluating. You need to pause, take a time out, do some healing work, take some time away from this connection the best you can. Okay, and really and spend some time. Page, page energy is young, youthful energy, but this is about actually except you could be accepting like help from other people. And I think if, if that's where you are, it's the student learning card. You could be learning about how to heal from something, right? That's your opportunity. You're learning about how to heal. Your new beginning is you falling in love with yourself and letting go of anything that's, that's unhealthy in your life. Your advice from spirit is the emperor, the queen of swords and the knight of pen, nine of the knight of pentacles. So you're moving slowly through a situation where you're regaining your power and you are trying to take everything from a more logical, practical point of view, making the necessary cuts. I do believe that you are cutting someone out of your life, Gemini. 
you have to make a choice what is going to serve you best moving forward, okay? I want to see what you're cutting out. Yeah. You were tired of someone. I do believe in this situation, the Knight of Swords, is someone is just like, it's just not working. That's what I'm getting. It's not working. You have to decide what's healthy for you and what isn't. You were manifesting conflict. There's conflict and defensiveness all the time. So Spirit is saying, it's up to you what you want to keep entertaining, what you want to keep investing in, okay? You do have communication coming in. I do believe you're working very hard on ending a toxic cycle. And when you're in knee deep in that, it's very hard to see clearly. Let's get some more clarifying messages from the wisdom of the Oracle. Wow, I can't believe how fast I've been going. I'm sorry for any residual noise. I have dogs, family, upstairs. I'm going to squeak to send. The holidays are crazy. All right. Always something going on in this house. A lot of beings in this house. All right, Gemini. We're just going to, I'm going to pull when they tell me to stop. And we're going to get the story here. I want to get the story. Tell us the story, Gemini. In spirit. What's happening? Spirit wants to give you a leg up. They're trying to help you with this. Trying to help you through this. Co-create. Yeah, spirit is working with you right now. They really want to help you navigate this as you make this important decision in your life. You are exchanging gifts with spirit. You are. And you are mending. You're healing. You are definitely healing from something. Definitely healing from something that has hurt you. All that glitters. Yeah, you got yourself, honey. I'm so sorry. When we get invested in things that you're like, it wasn't what I expected. This is like fool's gold. Fool's gold. All that glitters is not gold. Chaos and conflict. You're tired. You're tired of the chaos and you're tired of the conflict. You're asking yourself, why did this have to happen? Why? I thought this was going to last. I thought this was, why did they do this? So yeah, you're going to have to clean up all of this energetic debris, right? And that is just, a be you know what? Our healing journey is so beautiful, especially when we learn from these situations as hard as they are. Message in a bottle. I do believe this person is not done with you. It's up to you whether you're done with them. All right, I am seeing somebody who wants to continue to text you, continue to perpetuate the chaos. Spirit is saying, be present. You have to get into the present moment and really take care of yourself. There is a fork in the road. Which way are you going to go? You're making a critical decision this week. You have a deep knowing. You have a deep knowing. Deep knowing that it's time to go. It's time to go. Last card. Because you're in a never-ending story, honey. And I'm so sorry. I'm sending you... So much love as you navigate this week. You really need to express what you need to express to this person. You need to stand up for yourself and your needs. All right? Don't tolerate any energy that's going to be foolish with you. All right? Who's not going to invest properly or lie or deceive you or just show up in a toxic way. Okay? Whoever, whatever that means to you. Toxicity is different. There's varying degrees of toxicity. But whatever it is, it's something very unhealthy in this connection. And it's causing a lot of strife. So you know what you need to do. It's just a matter of, are you going to let go and release this? Because it's time to say, look at the, the yeah, you're just going to keep going round and round. All right. That is my message to you this week. Hang on, hold on, do your healing work, okay? You might need to cut off communication for a little while. This is block communication. Spirit's guiding you to, to pause and really nurture yourself right now and lean on your community to get through that, okay? Your friends, your family, all right? I'm sending you love, all right? Take care.